Dad, what story are you going to read tonight? A story about a rebel. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Pinus Game Space Mobile Game Review. Well, in today's review, we'll be talking about a new third-person shooter game out there on Android and iOS devices. Well, it's not quite new because it's been out there for a while now, but for some weird reasons, it still hasn't gained fame yet. Now, this game is not other but this other from one of the greatest mobile game developers out there, NetEase. If you play some of their game, you will know what I'm talking about. With all that out of the way, let's show the intro and get down to the business of today. This order, as the name suggests, is a new third-person epic shooter set in the year 2030, where war is said to be a global normal. In an ongoing conflict for nuclear weapons and the spoils of war, multiple factions meet each other on the battlefield. In this endless war, justice and sin are intertwined and no one escapes the undercurrent of violence. As an elite soldier, the time has come for you to take up arms and fight alongside your teammates. There are five limited time activities which has been organized to celebrate the official launch of the game as of right now. And uh, it features a large range of rich rewards such as character, outfits and supplies. Now, there is an all new future location such as rooms, radar stations and missile silos. These all have been built on the map for world team battles. As a soldier in this world, you can pledge your loyalty to three very different factions. The Pale Knight, the Ghost Puppets and Cadaver Unit, with more to be revealed in the game as a time goes on. Each member of the armed factions have his or her own as exhaustive bad story for you to uncover, good or evil. The choice is currently up to us, the players. Now the game features some unique characters because it, it also um, it also entails a the mobile, mobile uh, element where you have different characters with unique abilities. Now these characters are subdivided into scout, maneuver, defense, support, and the characters are classified into different roles, allowing for great freedom and diversity in team setup. They are not fully differentiating between personality, appearance and backstory, but even unique skill set and weapon loadout types too. It's up to you to control the tempo of your battle where the odds might be reversed at any time. Now, the main way to play the game and win is to gain EXP, XP and credits from mercenaries or player killing. Mercenaries are some uh, I've read a uh, bot, will I say bot or will I call them robots or thieves that are always on the way. They are not real characters, they are not real players in the game. They are just there for you to kill and for them to block your way. If he is not a king and, you, and uh, you look down on them, they might just waste you in the battle once you meet a lot of them. So once you kill mercenaries or players with their five choices, you can upgrade both the weapons and abilities to adapt to the overchanging battlefield, strengthening yourself on the landing point until you are ready to take and take control of the missile silo. Now, the game currently has five modes, but the ULF based battle and multi based battle are the three core game modes right now. And the developers said there are more to come. For the ULF map, you need to work with your teammates and establish a plan of action to occupy and secure the area's missile silo on the way to victory. Every decision and bullet matters. While in base battle and multi-base battle, close combat happens and situations can be changed by second. It's just uh, like um, a capture to win uh, game mode like in other games. You just have to stay in the base for you to capture points and uh, win the battle. Now, currently the game is uh, in its season zero. Um, they have introduced a new brand new season ranking system and general system pass rewards. Now, you can either squad up or you can play alone on this new game. And uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know. The game is really, really good. It has quite good graphics and everything in the game is pretty awesome. And it's coming from one of the greatest mobile game developers out there, which is NetEase. So it's no um, new... It's no surprise that uh, the game is really good and it's the next big deal on mobile. So guys, comment below what you think in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be dropping more on this particular game like tips and tricks and walkthroughs on how to level up your gaming with ease. See you guys in the next episode. Pinos out. You are now living the shores of Pinos Game Space. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and comment. 
And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so we can go together while certain trends with every new update.